Um guadachuco, um guadachuco, um guadachuco. How many times have I called you? When will you learn? The world is an ocean of knowledge. The world is a sea of knowledge. Anywhere you are, you can learn. But if you make up your mind not to learn, it's quite unfortunate. If you stop learning, you stop dying. Ungwagachuku, you are so full of yourself. You talk as if you are the creator of this world. You talk as if you brought Christianity into the world. And one cannot see the evidences in your life. The way you are talking appears as if you are Jesus Christ yourself. Let there be humility in your life, the way you talk. Let there be gentleness in your life, the way you talk. There is no element of gentleness. There is no element of humility. This is not in consonance with the word of God. This revelation that you say you used to have, and you are the only one having revelation. This revelation you have in the grand community, I want you to extend this uh, revelation somewhere else. I want you to go to the National Mosque, Abuja, get into their midst while they are praying and say, no, I have revelation from God. Since I have told you that, even if you have revelation, hold yourself, keep it to yourself. And you say, no, that you must speak it anywhere. Go to the National Mosque, Abuja. Or oh, don't you have revelation concerning that place? Or oh, another place is Sambisa Forest. Go to Sambisa Forest and tell them of the revelation you have. Why will your revelation only be in the grand colony where they don't need you? And where they need you, you run away from there. Oh, God, that you could to impress us that you have this revelation in essence. Please travel to Afghanistan and come back since I have advised you that even if you have revelation, be sensible about it. And I had given you a scriptural part passage in First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 23. That when you are gathered together and you begin to speak in tongues and there appears somebody without knowledge that is unlearned, won't they call you mad? You have refused to consider that passage of the scripture. Since when you have revelation, you can say it anywhere. I dare you to go to the National uh, uh, Mosque, Abuja, and tell them that uh, you have a revelation against them. The God they are serving is a dead God. That since they don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, they are going to hell fire. Mwaga Chuku, prove to us Receive a revelation concerning that place. They need your revelation. Get a revelation and go there and speak. Or go to Sambisa Forest. Or go to Zamfara to meet the bandits. If somebody has a revelation, God also blesses that person with miracles, with gifts of miracle, so that this, the revelation can fly. So that the revelation can fly if you are bold and you don't have working of miracle. Your revelational activities will be crippled. Uh, Elijah, Prophet Elijah, before he withstood Ahab, he was blessed with miracles to back up his revelational knowledge to challenge Ahab, to speak the word of God without fear anywhere. If you must speak the word of God without fear anywhere, 
and it must fly. The Lord God Almighty has to bless you with gifts of miracle. Where is your gift of miracle? Where is your gift of miracle? Let your gift of miracle cost this money to come out now for people to share now and everybody will go and rise. You are only using your mouth to, to say you have revelation. You have revelation. How can people believe you? You have revelation and you don't have working of miracles. How can people believe you? Where is your working of miracle that will back up with your revelational knowledge to make it work to cause people to believe you? Point number two. You came up and you said that I apologized to you. I apologize to you. On what basis, sir? You told me to show a VN where you said in 14 days I will die. I am also daring you. The apology I tendered to you, tendered the evidence of that apology. What I said in that apology, if you call it apology, is it your wife I slept with her and I came to apologize to you? Or I came and stole your church money? Or I wanted to assassinate you and I apologize to you to forgive me? Make it clear. Don't make it look dim. Don't speak in darkness. Speak plainly what I said in that apology. For your information, I owe nobody any apology in the grand community. What I did, I said I did it mistakenly. I didn't know. And it was not only me that did that kind of thing. Almost everybody in the grand colony committed that error. What I did in Tiobat, it's only in Tiobat that I have issue. My own organization is still on. It's only in Tiobat I had issue. I fought so many people, not because of myself, but because of Tiobat. And since I have known the truth, I decided to disembark from Tioba's ship and the many people on whose toes I have stepped, I came up and I said, forgive me. What is wrong there? What is wrong there? The time I bounced on you against you, I was in Tioba and you were with Ken that time. You were defending Ken and I was def defending Tioba. And I had the cause to speak to you because you had left Ken. If you had not left Ken, I wouldn't have gotten any business from uh, with you. I had left it you, but you had left Ken. On what ground will I apologize to you? If I apologize to you because I insulted you, on account of Tiobat, then you should, you too also have to apologize to me because you insulted me because of Ken. Because as I am not with Tiobat, you are not with Ken. So if I apologize to you, you are invariably telling people that you have fallen short of ethics. If I apologize to you, you too, you are supposed to apologize to me now. I talked derogatorily to you because of Tiobat. And you also talked derogatorily to me because of Ken. As I am no longer with Tiobat, you are no longer with Ken. So if I apologize to you, you too, you are supposed to apologize to me now. All the apology is far-fetched from this area. If it is far-fetched from this area, make the whole community to know. If Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agochenu went and slept with your wife, if Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agochenu went and stole something from, then make it, make it open. But as far as I'm concerned, 
if there is anything that will demand apology at all, it is a conflict between me and you as a result of Ken and you. Hello? As I am talking, people that are with knowledge, they understand where I am going. But Mwagachuku, as obstinate as he is, you will not understand this. So if you say I apologize to you, please, state the reason for the apology. Yes. I want again to draw your attention. Mwagachuku, you want to affirm that what you are saying is true from God. What if it fails? What if what you are saying fails? The identity of you people in this class is whenever what you are saying fails, you go and hide yourself. You, you quickly forget about that one and start doing another thing. What if it fails? What if it, so it fails? You say God revealed this to you, fine. But what if it does not go in line with what you are saying? I know what that you could. Today is not the first day you are saying things to, and you say God sent you. I have never seen anyone that has come to pass. I am not the only one who is saying this to. So many other people are saying it. That of all your prophecies, none has come to pass. And you don't have the shame to stop. And when you were talking, you said you didn't say that I will die. Or if I said, if you said I should die, I should present the, the voice note. But you have used your mouth to say that you said that the judgment of God will be established on me. What's the meaning of that? If I and you, are quarreling yes we quarrel that time and you open your mouth and you say okay the judgment of god will be established on me it is a, a wide saying somebody anybody can interpret it anyhow if somebody dies is the judgment of god if somebody falls sick is the judgment of god if calamity befalls anybody, is the judgment of God. Since you don't specify, I am ready, I am free to interpret it. Anyhow, I understand. And you say the judgment of God will be established on me. You gave a date, 14 days. And you were now trying to now say that what happened to me at EFCC, is the result of the judgment of God that you pronounced. Ogami, okay, I didn't have a direct issue with ELCC. Anything that took me to ELCC was true. I did a nice job there. I did not leave him. I did not leave him. In fire, in rain, I was with him. I didn't leave him. What I did at ESCC was a fabulous job. And he said I slept in detention in ESCC. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep in detention in ESCC. Go and find out again. Because this is how you lie. You don't find out information. I didn't get into the detention room, into the detention room in ESCC. And again, if you say, although I did not go into the detention room in EFCC, if you now say what happened in EFCC was as a result of the judgment of God coming to me, just like you said, but you gave a timeline, you say 14 days. The one of 14 days, can you deny it? The one of 14 days, can you deny it? And the time you were running this course was... December 2022 and the ELCC saga was uh, uh, June 23. That's about seven months. Your 14 days changed to, four, uh, to seven months. If what happened at ELCC was the judgment of God as you were saying. 
Nguada Chiku. Now, and again, if the separation between me and you was a judgment of God, as you claim, then the separation between you and Ken, how do we call it? Judgment of God or judgment of Satan? Nguada Chiku. The earlier you land, the better for you. The earlier you land, the better for you. And for your information, it's not shouting that is prophecy. You. People listening to you, it's not when you shout, you come up, you begin to shout. It is the point in what you are saying that people work with. I saw that all the things you were saying in your reply to my VN, there are no points, sir. If you must reply to this message, go and sit down. And if your brain cannot take you far to be able to constitute points, let somebody help you. Let somebody help you. Let somebody help you. Finally, I'll refer you to the Bible that you claim you read. The Bible says, by this you shall know a genuine prophet and a false prophet. If there exists any prophet who says something and it comes to pass, that is a genuine prophet. But if a prophet comes up, and says something and it does not come to pass that is a fake prophet we are watching there are so many of the things that you have said that have not come to pass if you are not yet satisfied we are watching over this one watch out for what you have said if it will come to pass if it comes to pass then we celebrate you as a true prophet but if it does not come to pass, be ready to bury your head in shame. Because this is what normally goes on with a lot of you that claim to be carrying the grace of God. When whatever you do amiss comes to bear, you quickly dodge that thing. You don't confess. You don't apologize. That is what a lot of you do. If not, if you know shame, if you know shame, you won't come out to talk in the name of God again. Because as far as the Bible is concerned, you are battered, scattered, and shattered. And finally, you were saying that I should have called you privately to do what? When you have disgraced Christianity publicly, I should call you privately. Before you say this thing, since you were going to send it to the public space, uh -uh, let other men of God look at it with you now. But because of your arrogance, because of your pride, you don't believe that anybody has knowledge the way you are. And that is why your shame is coming to the open. How will I come and talk? Hi, Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agocheno. How will I come and talk the way you are talking? How will I come and talk? And you came saying that, yeah, you have said your own. Anybody who wants to listen should listen. And that you said that you didn't speak, that everybody should listen. As you didn't speak for everybody to listen, why did you come to the public space? And uh, if your aim is not to convince people, then why did you come to the public space? And if you would come to the public space, then that means you can also go to the mosque. If you don't care about your hearers, because the way you have talked, you say that you don't care about your hearers. If you don't care about your hearers, then go to the, go to the, to the, to the, to the mosque now. And see what your body will tell you. Go to Boko Haram then and see what your body will tell you. God's revelation is only for you, is only towards the people in the grant community. Why can't God give you revelation towards Boko Haram? Go there now. Go there now. Who 
will you kill? Who will you kill? Why don't you cool? drop your lies? You are a disgrace to Christendom. This is not what Christ teaches us. Christ teaches us humility. Christ teaches us uh, gentleness. Christ teaches us you, you are not humble. You are full of yourself. And from the way you talk, people don't see knowledge. People don't see knowledge from the way you talk. And uh, I warn you to stay away from the social media. Because you are not you are not you are not packaged with knowledge. The more you speak, the more people see your nakedness. Good afternoon.